buy this, you hold four grocery bags with your hands. Right, and you go to your home, and you left your one grocery bag in the field, and you go with your three grocery bag. So you waste your one bag daily. You know, when you become the reason, because of you, someone is changed. Because of you, someone didn't give up. And because of you, someone is living their dream life. First step is nothing, just your first try. First step is nothing, just your first effort. First step is nothing, just your first dream, your first hope. So guys, first step can change your life. Just imagine yourself, the top math examination and the toughest questions in the math examination. There are many students who are sitting in the examination hall, they just look at the questions. Oh my God, this is very tough questions. Meri roti mat chino, meri roti mut se mat chino. अगर आपको जीने का हक है तो मुझे भी जीने का हक है अगर आपको चैन से सोने का हक है तो मुझे भी चैन से सोने का हक है मेरी रोटी मुझसे मत छीनो मेरी रोटी मत मुझसे छीनो गुड मॉर्निंग लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन गुड मॉर्निंग माई रेस्पेक्टेड टीचर एंड ऑल द क्री मेंबर्स ऑफ हैप्पीनेस इंस्टीट्यूट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू दट हाउ आर यू ऑल आर यू today yes. so i just want to remind you one thing as sir said that for the lal kila celebration there is a huge preparation need for before 15 to 20 days so why august is celebrating for for what reason yes for what reason august is celebrating for Independence Day. Independence Day. Obviously, this day is written in history. This day creates history, and at the same time, 6th August, this day creates a history in the Happiness Institute. <laughs> Because we are prepared. before 10 to 15 days to create a incredible moment in this stage so i would like to ask you a couple of question would you like to answer me yes so how many of you are watching the news no oh uh, okay all right you like to you would like to see the serials or the movies sometimes khatro ke khiladi wow that's amazing but in news what happens today what happens what news going on manipur incident some parts of haryana so i i i just want to remind you that everybody every single person are fighting yeah. it's not matter he is a celebrity it's not matter that he is a politician it's not matter he is a single ordinary human being but everybody is fighting for their seats their passion their want their everything like we we see that there is a war between russia and ukraine there is a war between two politics party there is a war between brother and sister there is a war between wife and husband but somewhere we all lose that point that what is the real issue in our country so today i am going to realize you that what is the real issue in our country do you know that 456 percentage of people 456 million people are living under poverty line today i am going to realize you that why in every 5 second one single per, one single child die So let me show you something. I have something for you. Not bury, you can clap for this. Yes! That's a great point. I have something special for you. Yes, this is a main thing. I am 
your wasted food. I have been wasting many times in the restaurants, in the big company, in your home. You find me everywhere. You can find me also in Lakshmi Nagar. Right. So I'm the food which you eat. I'm the garbage where your power hides somewhere. I'm the food who have its own origin. And my village name is Kate. <laughs> who made me? I I born by a farmer, a real farmer who grew me, who just put every efforts, every single efforts to grow me. But I cried many times because to see that how the farmer can do hard work for me. But, but he slept hungry. He made me to fulfill your tummy. He made me to fulfill the huge amount of population's tummy. But he sleeps empty stomach. When I came to the consumer world, I realized that how people are wasting me. How people are, you know, fight to each other, fight for their wants, fight for their building, fight for their food, fight for their children, fight for their luxurious car. But they lose me. We all have habits, right? We all have habits to waste our food. Sometimes we buy foods from the shopkeepers like which we don't want. If, if I want any one kurkure packet, I buy two kurkure packets. Why? Do you know that 1.3 billion food are waste in the daily basis? Because this is all our habit. We are letting fruits and vegetables spoil in our home. And we don't love our leftovers. Just realize when you go to the party or when you go to the marriage party, then you enjoy the food. Like no one go for to see the dulha and dulhan. Everyone wants to eat and to sing and to sing. You collect the paneer pakora, you collect the chicken pakora, you collect the french fries, you collect the palau bath, you collect the biryani. But after that, what happened? You put this in the dustbin. You imagine, you imagine by this, you hold four grocery bags with your hand, right? And you go to your home and you left your one grocery bag in the field and you go with your three grocery bag. So you waste your one bag daily. This is the thing we need to realize. By wasting our food, we don't only waste the food, but also we waste the environment. Also, we pollute the environment. Also, we harm to our environment and also our natural resources. Like land, trees, fruits, everything gets polluted. Do you know, by wasting food, we increase the greenhouse gas emission. Do you know by household, every household wastes 61 percentage of food in every day? You see, you all know that 
before some days we are all suffering through flood and even we can see to go to the yamuna and see that how much people are resting like how much people are losing their home how much people are losing their food and how they are survive it's not a common thing it's not a common thing that flood in delhi it's not a common thing we it's a common that flood comes in uttarakhand it's a common that floods come in it's a floods come in north area but it's not a common that floods come in delhi it's a real big issue in our country do you know by wasting our food do you know through our habit we are losing thousands million billion of children day by day and i have a story for you i have a three sister story who lives in mandavali delhi itself who lives with father and mother father is a rickshaw puller and the mother who is mentally disabled they three are die in the tuesday night and after research doctor said that i could not find a single tress in the stomach they are not having their food for a uh, one week because of that they are losing their life this is not a common problem in our country this is a real issue we all need to put together and why like what are the actions we should take to eradicate this problem completely first love your leftovers love your leftovers in your plate as you love your mother as you love your father as someone likes the girlfriend or boyfriend you cannot want to send your girlfriend or boyfriend to another one right so like this we don't need to put this leftover in the dustbin we put this on the safe package and give to the needy one there are many ngos who are worked to feed those children to feed those people 456 million people are come under poverty line this is not a common issue and the second thing use ugly fruits and vegetables food is not lost or waste in the retail or a consumer life but food is also waste when it's produced 61 percentage is always lost when it's harvested after that it comes to the retail shop and retailer do what he can separate the good food and he can separate the ugly food so if you want to really put your light to this world to save the nation you can buy this ugly food by by buying ugly food you can save the time you can save the nation you can save the children you can save the million and billion of people's life so to conclude this i would like to say that this is not a common issue this is not a common thing which governments only can do which governments only can take action yes government takes action governments makes many schemes like a zero hunger program like a portion abhiyan yes government made this scheme but apart from this 
if we need a really large amount of effect in our world, then we need to get together and we need to take a action which really saves the world, which really build the world and your one action could change the world. Your one action can save anyone's hungry stomach. Your one action can make anyone's life. Your one action can save your money. Your one action can save your confidence, also your foods, right? So our one action is very important. Our one action is very important. Some of us are having food. Some of us are wasting food. But many of us are die for not having food. Meri roti musse mat chino. Meri roti musse mat chino. Agar aapko jine ka haq hai, to mujhe bhi jine ka haq hai. Meri roti musse mat chino. Meri roti musse mat chino. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mohammed Sarfraz. I belong to Jharkhand and I came here in Happiness Institute to learn English and to develop my personality. Here, what I did, I just gave my short introduction in two different types, two times. And I want to ask you which one you liked. The first one or the second one? The second one? Exactly. Why? Why? OK, it was very confident, right? OK, I will come to this point again. But before going further, I want to ask you one more question that according to you guys what is the most powerful weapon on this planet earth listen to the question very carefully what is the most powerful weapon on this planet earth Ideas. information information Meditation. education Knowledge. power of words knowledge, knowledge. knowledge. what ideas, ideas. Mind. mind okay everybody have their own unique opinion that this and this and this is the most powerful weapon on this planet Earth. But one of our friends said correct. And I want to let you know that since the origin of the Earth, it was the most powerful and dangerous weapon. And till the doomsday, it will be the most powerful weapon on the face of the Earth. And it is words. Shabd. The words I use, the words you use, the word everybody use in their daily life. Because you know, with the help and correct use of words, we can express our feeling to others and understand others. We can win anyone's heart, or we can break anyone's heart. We can make anyone happy, and we can make anyone cry. We can destroy anyone, or we can create anyone. And the most important thing, we can create peace in this world or we can create war in this world. We don't need any guns. We don't need any sword. We don't need any nuclear weapon. Just only and only we need words. And to prove the power of words, I have already given you a small example in the starting of my speech as I spoke two uh, same things two times in two different ways. And you all like the second one uh, where I was confident without any hesitation and nervousness, which made them feel better than the previous one. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am talking about the words. The words in our life, the words which created history, and the words which will create the future. As we know about history, that how Nelson Mandela, how Mahatma Gandhi, how Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, King Martin Luther Jr., they have influenced the whole world and created history with the help of words. And today, in modern era, what we see? We see businessmen, we see influencers, we see entrepreneurs who give speeches about their products and services and make millions of dollars. How? Only with the help of correct delivering of words in their speeches. Now, 
I would like to share my experience that how these words changed my life in past few months. On 8th May, I came to this institute and uh, with so much of energy, power, dedication and it all was going well. But after a month, I started to lose my energy. I started to lose focus, dedication on my studies and one day, our respected sir, Abdullah sir, noticed that and he called me and said, you know, Sir Faraz, many students come here to this institute to learn something, to get something. But you are in one of the students who came here having something inside of you and have energy to do something. Don't lose it and don't waste it. That day, those words of our respected sir hit me so hard in my heart that made me realize that who am I? Why I am here? And after that day, I got distracted again so many times, but I didn't lose my confidence. Those words motivated, motivated me all the time. And you know, when you become the reason, because of you, someone is changed. Because of you, someone didn't give up. And because of you, someone is living their dream life. Then my dear friends, this is called the real meaning of life that you live. And so I want to tell our respected, beloved Abdullah sir that, sir, because of you, I didn't give up. Because of you, all the students will not give up. Will you give up? No. No. So because of you, sir, we will not going to give up. So everybody, please, I want a huge round of applause for our great, respected Abdullah sir. And... Uh, Sir, thank you for your incredible support to all of us. And personally, I'm sorry for all the mistakes that I did. <laughs> okay. Now, we know that words are so powerful. Okay. But a very big question arises here. That if words are so powerful, then how we can become the master of words? How? Do you have any points? How we can master speaking and correct use of words? Yes. Please. If you can understand what is the power of word, you can uh, win all the word. We can win all the word if you understand. Power. Okay. You know what is the power of words? So you can win all the words. You can defeat all the words. You can do what you want. And yes. yes, right. Anyone else? Anybody else? Yes, please, Pramila. Do you know what the influence of uh, in front of you, who are sitting in front of you, what he or she wants, then you are a good speaker and your words enlighten the whole world and someone's also, also change someone's life. Okay, also change someone's life. Okay, correct. Yes, Mr. Deepak. Uh, words are activate your emotion. If you uh, angry with me, uh, the emotion of my anger is active. Yes, very good. So everybody given their points, and all the points are correct. But you know what? Before answering to this important question, I want to congratulate you. Because you know why? Because today you are here in Happiness Institute under the guidance of Abdullah sir. And this is the place. I want all of you to look at that banner behind you. This is the place where your words, where your words, words become your strength. That's why I congratulated you that today you are here. You, me, and all the students are lucky that today we are here in this speech competition and we are using the words as a weapon to prove ourselves and to improve ourselves. Now, uh, I am saying that the situation is like uh, tense, uh, boring, like uh, it's going this uh, speech competition and you are listening everybody. So, I want to do something, a, an activity. For that, I need a person. Mr. Haryom, please. Please. Okay. So, I just want to ask you that if anybody, any one of the students uh, here in the institute, if you do anything, calls you Pagal, <laughs> then what is your response? 
I thought myself ki what, why he is said to me. Why he said to me? Okay, that I am not a pagal and he said to me, you are a yes. pagal. Okay. You are going to your home. After the institute will be off, you are going to your home and on the road you just hit at somebody. And then he again said to you, Oh, pagal hai kya? Then what will be the response? So, uh, I will realize my mistake. Uh, okay. Realize your mistake. Realize why he said to me pagal. Okay. He also hit you? Yes, okay. Hated. Now, you are in your room with your roommate. Now, you did anything, something. And he just called you, Oh, pagal hai kya? Then what will be the response? Then I will think why everyone is saying pagal. <laughs> <laughs> then you will start thinking that is there any fault inside me that everybody is calling me pagal? And you will feel frustrated, angry. Okay. Now the situation has changed. You are talking to a beautiful girl. And he said, Oh pagal. <laughs> then what will be the response? <laughs> Oh, oh, boys, when any beautiful girl calls you Pagal, then what you said, I know. What you said? No, no. What is your reply? Yes, I am Pagal for you. Okay. So, do you answer like this? No? Oh, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a seat. So, I want to just. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So, it's my pleasure that I can share my thought through my speech. So guys, it's not somebody else's thought. It's my own thought, my own experience. So guys, three days ago, sir told me that Priyanka, you are selected for anchoring in this program. And I was like, oh my god, sir, what did you give me? Then I was very afraid. And I was not ready for that. And I refused his offer and said, sir, how can I do it? I'm at zero. Sir told me, dad, I choose you just because you dumb. Hai. Then kya hota? I decided and I started preparing for that. And results are here, you all have seen. So guys, it was successful, it was satisfied. At least I spoke in front of you. It was happening just because I took my first step. Otherwise, it, not, it, it is not possible. So guys, if you want to do something, you have to take your first step. You know guys, first step is always hardest. But you will never regret it. First step is nothing, just your first try. First step is nothing, just your first effort. First step is nothing, just your first dream, your first hope. So guys, first step can change your life, can change your mentality, can change your perception, can change your opinion, can change your personality, can change your past, present and future and many more. Your first step can make you a better person. Your first step can make your dream success. Your first step can make your great personality, your first step, can make you a personality different from others. Your first step can make you a person who can fight all your challenges and you can face your all obstacles. Your first step can change your whole thing. So guys, don't be afraid for your first step. And I hope you all guys take your first step in your challenges, your life. Wish you all the best, guys. It was my short story <laughs> that I want to tell you. And thank you, guys. Thank you so much. World is not bigger than your thought. World is not bigger than your thought. But with the help of your thought, you can become a bigger than your world. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shantos. And today, I'll be talking on a very interesting, very factual topic that we all have having the same issue, how we manage ourselves, right? how we maintain ourselves, how we manage the self. We'll try to discuss with point by point. So first, I would like to discuss the point that is Shraddha. What does it mean? What does it mean by Shraddha? Shraddha is a Sanskrit word, right? And it's in English, it's a simple meaning. That is self-confidence. 
What does it mean by self-confidence? Vivekananda had a famous saying, ki if those who, who don't have believe in God, Swami Vivekananda had told, ki those who don't believe on God, they are Gnostic. And today religion said, those who don't believe on yourself, they are Gnostic. So this is the sraddha on yourself. This is the self-confidence self -confidence on yourself. If you don't self confidence, you are not going to do anything in your life. Let me clear with an example. There is a big Mercedes van and a little auto parked outside in the market. You are sitting on the Mercedes van and you started the Mercedes and you're taking an accelerator and second hand you are taking the brake. Will it move, move forward? No. Never it will move forward. And the same time you are sitting on the auto, little auto, right? And you started the auto also. You are taking the accelerator and you are taking the brake also. What will happen? What will happen? It will move forward or not? It will move forward, but little bit sound. Put, 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 put. Right? Because this is auto. So it will move forward, but little bit sound of foot, put, put, put. So exactly like that. We all have a great talent. We all have the resources. We all have ambition. But if you don't have a self-confidence, the same condition, what happened with auto, our life will also. Next point is self-efficacy. What is this new term? Self-efficacy. This is the belief, self-efficacy. This is the belief that I can. This is, I can do this. Let me try whether I can do or not. If I will try, I will success. If you, I will try, let me try. If I can try, then I can success. So this is, let me try. Let me try is your self-efficacy. We'll try to understand by an example. We all have experience, and maybe we all have passed the 10th examination and 12th examination. Just, exam, just imagine yourself the top math examination and the toughest questions in the math examination. There are many students who are sitting in the examination hall. They just look at the questions. Oh my god, this is very tough questions. I have never solved that questions. How I can solve this question? They pick the question, they quit the questions and move forward to the next question. And there are some few students in the classroom. They look at the questions and they think, let me try. Let me try. I have solved many times. I have solved multiple questions like this. So let me try. Let me try whether I can solve these questions or not. This is self-efficacy. I can try. If I can succeed, I can try. Right? So this is the self-efficacy. Third point, self-responsibility. What does this mean? What does it mean by self-responsibility? We all, uh, just know when we are child, like little baby, little, bo little boys and girls, what we want? We want from our mother, give me, Papa, Papa, give me this toy. And Papa, just go around to the market and give it to you. And Mommy, I want this pasta. Mama, mama, go around in the market and get a pasta and give it to you. But that days has gone. Now you are grown up. Now you are above 18, 19, 20. You are in college. That days has gone. You have to take responsibility yourself. There are many other responsibilities also there. We'll discuss on point by point. First is my desire is my responsibility. My desire is my responsibility. Suppose I want to become a cricketer, so it's my desire. I have to fulfill. I want to become a good English speaker, so it's my responsibility. I want to become a doctor, I want to become a CEO, I want to become an engineer, I want to become a scientist, so it's my responsibility to, be, to respect our desire, to fulfill our desire, to work, to do, to give our effort, to give our time, to fulfill our desire. It's our responsibility. Second is, the quality of your time. You will judge with your time. We will judge with your work. Your work is your signature. Doesn't matter what you are mentioning in your resume. But if your work is not good, you will nothing. You are, you are getting you for the increment. If you are not done well in your past, you are not getting increment in your job. So your work is your signature. Always you are responsible for quality of your work. Third is, my communication is my responsibility. What you are going to be talk? Am I truthful? 
Am I factful? Am I clear? Am I clear? Am my thought is clear? Am I forceful? So it's your responsibility. Whenever you are talking, when you are try to convince your masses, so it's your responsibility to deliver point one, point A to point B. It's your responsibility to deliver your thought clear, will, full of clarity. Point four, my behavior is my responsibility. How you are talking to your brother, how you are talking to the sir, how you are talking to your colleague, how you are talking to your parents, it's your responsibility. So you have to take responsibility of your behavior. Next is my time is my responsibility. 